You also do another event that you've got coming up in a couple of weeks yeah. called 24 Pull Requests. Yes. Tell us more about this. So that's our annual open source event, which we call it. Hi, my name's Eddie and I believe tech is for everybody. My channel is about open source tech events, hackathons and conferences and upskilling you so you can get the job that you deserve. If that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to support me by subscribing to my channel. It's free. And I have the awesome Kim with me who's been with Codebar from very near the beginning, if not the beginning. You also do another event that you've got coming up in a couple of weeks yeah. called 24 Pull Requests. Yes. Tell us more about this. So that's our annual open source event, which we call it. Uh, we took the idea <laughs> away from someone called Andrew Nesbitt, who started 24 Pull Requests, so that's where the name comes from. And the idea is that, you know, in December you open an advent calendar every day and eat chocolate. But why not contribute to open source? And, you know, it doesn't have to be a code change. It can be documentation. So we get a lot of people say you know, I'm really new to programming, how can I help? And then I find out that they're a copywriter. And I'm like, you're the best person to contribute. Yes. Like, you're way better than me who guesses most of this stuff. Um, and yeah, and the idea is that it's a full day event and the first hour is like an intro to Git. So if you don't know, you know, you can come along. If you do know, that's great because you can skip that hour and just go straight to contributing. And then we try to curate a bunch of beginner-friendly pull requests so that, you know, you don't have to waste that time. But we do also say, here is how you can search. So, you know, we show them labels and things. Um, and then the idea is that we have, like, a documentation table, you know, HTML and CSS, a JavaScript, a Ruby, a Python, and then students are able to just move around the day as they want. And do documentation is the most important thing. This is the one I found out she was a copywriter. And... She went away and after the day she'd done seven pull requests. That's awesome. And she'd never done one before that day. And she was like, I didn't realize it was this easy. And I'm like, we need more copywriters looking yes. at documentation, checking grammar, you know. Does it make sense? Is yeah. It just, does it make and also, sense? you know, when you write documentation yourself, you miss things because it's yeah. all in your head. And you make assumptions, right? Yeah, a hundred percent. And so actually having someone who doesn't know the project look at that README or, you know, that other bit of documentation and say, wait, that bit doesn't make sense, is really beneficial. And so that's one of the things that we really do try to encourage. You know, you don't have to be, you don't have to be on your, like, ninth Python tutorial to contribute, like, at all. Absolutely. And I say this to my clients as well. They say, well, we're thinking of getting in a junior, but we don't know what value they can add. And I'm like, they can add so much value, because if it doesn't make sense yeah. to them, then onboarding a new person is not going to make any sense either. Yeah. The, a junior can add so much value. The first yeah. thing I do is, you know, look at this project. Can you get it up and running? If you have any issues then we need to mark it in the documentation. Yeah. That's their first concept of contributions. Yeah. I'm a, like a contractor, and one of the first things I do is change the README. Because, yeah. again, like, you know, if I've been somewhere for two, three years, you know, I've probably not set that project up in months. Yes. And so having someone fresh to the project look at that and say, wait, you missed that bit, or I had this error, it's not documented, documented and then change the README is really useful. Soft skill is not a soft <laughs> skill, it's a hard skill. You heard it first here from Kim. <laughs>